everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a video, and I'm kind of in the middle of another video. I was filming Olivia makeup look from the Golden Globes. In the meantime, I kind of wanted to do a first impressions video while I'm kind of at this. So I just want to get into it and tell you what it's about and what's going on. I bought the Rimmel London Mash Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder the other day. I found it at the drugstore. It was in 001 Transparent. I have not seen anything uh, about this yet, so I wanted to kind of get this video out to review it. I paid at Shoppers Drug Mart um, for this powder. It was $11.49. So it's not that bad of a price. You get pretty much the same. Uh, I compared it in my drugstore haul to the Laura Mercier powder. So in this powder, you get um, 0.35 ounces. That's 10 grams. And in the Laura Mercier powder, you get 11.34 grams. So you get like a 1.34 grams more, but this also is like 30, what, $40? And this is like 11. Um, it says on the back, this product is made in France. I already talked about that, so it should be pretty luxurious. Uh, it says it's a lightweight, smooth, soft face powder. It matches skin's texture for flawless and natural looking finish. It wears up to eight hours and is dermatologically tested. Um, so, it comes with a little puffy thing that they give you, and I already peeled off the stopper. The color of the powder is kind of like a pinkish, uh, whitish color. Um, so yeah, I have not tried this yet, even though I bought it a week ago. I wanted to save it for a first impressions. Hopefully this worked out, or this will ruin my look, and I will not be happy. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite um, sponge. This is by Quo, I got it at the drugstore. And it is great for especially baking underneath the eye because you can get really nice precision. I've already dampened this underwater, kind of squeezed it out, so it's kind of a little bit damp. So I'm just gonna get into it, I'm gonna set, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about this powder. So my camera just shut off, so as I was saying, um, I like to bake in the areas where I get a little bit more oily, which would be my T-zone. I already had my concealer on, I did foundation, and I did some cream contouring. So, so far I do like the way this is feeling. It is not looking over drying. I have the Dermablend uh, setting powder, which I've been using a lot lately, but the problem is I'm finding is that I don't like it underneath my eye. I find it's a little bit too drying for me, and around the face it's fine, but underneath the eye I feel like it just sucks all my concealer off, if that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't, but yeah. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, finish filming my other tutorial that I'm doing, and then at the end I'm gonna check back after, when I start to brush it away, I'll show you me brushing it away, and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this kind of powder. So, I'll see you in a minute. This is, my, this is my favorite brush. This is by Real Techniques. I love to bake with this, like set the under eye, brush away powder. So I'm just gonna take this guy and just brush everything away. I kind of already brushed the forehead and um, the chin area away. Yeah, you know what? I like this. Um, okay, this is the difference I'm finding. So when I do the Dermablend powder, it can bunch up in certain areas and it looks chalky. This one is not looking chalky. It is not too white. It is not messing with the concealer. Um, let me just get a mirror closer to my face here. Yeah, like it's not messing with anything. Definitely is translucent. It has not altered the color of any of my um, makeup anywhere else. My concealer looks the same. Everything looks good. I think this product is pretty bomb. Yeah, like this looks really nice. I've even let this sit for longer now that I know it's not gonna be super, super dry. The next time I use it, I'm gonna try to let, let it sit maybe for like five minutes just to see. But um, so far, definitely impressed with this uh, setting powder. So I have finished my makeup. Um, this will be going up on my channel. I don't know if it's gonna be going up before or after this video. It's probably gonna be going up after this video. So this review will probably come first. So check out this look. It'll be coming very shortly after, I think. Don't mark my words. Um, but this powder, I just finished my makeup. It is amazing. I really like this powder. I've always been a fan of Rimmel powders. Face powders from Rimmel to me are the bomb. Um, I don't love their foundations, just haven't, never really found one that I really like, but their face powders are so good for me. I have combination skin. I don't know how this is gonna wear. I'm hoping it's gonna hold up. It says it's a long wear eight hour powder. Um, and to be honest with you, I like this better than my Dermablend powder. 
I know it's expensive, way more expensive, and I'm I'm really digging this powder. It's not drying, has not altered anything. It looks so nice, and I'm really, really, really impressed. Like I keep looking at my under eye, thinking like this is probably one of the best they've. This is probably the best they've looked in a long time. The color on this is really nice. It does have a tiny, slight bit of pink to it, um, which I kind of like because that really does help brighten. Uh, it's kind of similar. Like the Dermal One powder is a lot more white. This one definitely has a little bit more pink to it. I really do like this. I give this, uh, honestly, right now, the way I, I'm looking at myself, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 right now. I don't know how it's going to wear. If it changes, if my opinion changes throughout the day, I'm going to leave a comment down below. But as of right now, bomb.com, pick this up. This is worth every penny. I really am loving this. So if you like this review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later and more reviews are coming your way. So stay tuned. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Okay.